Hello and welcome to the second video on laws of indices. So here we've got 2 to the power 6 divided by 2 squared. Now in algebra we don't generally tend to see the division symbol, instead we use a fraction to represent dividing. So I'm just going to rewrite all of this. So we've got 2 to the power 6 and then we're going to divide by 2 squared. So I've just represented it as a fraction. Now what does 2 to the power 6 mean? Well that means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and we're going to divide that by 2 squared which is just 2 times 2. And now that we've written it out in full you might be able to spot that we can simplify it down. We've got a 2 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So these two 2's can just cancel out with each other so we can get just get rid of them. And we can just say, do the same with these two 2's. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so those two 2's we can just get rid of. And all we are left with is we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or we can rewrite that as 2 to the power 4. Now straight away you might have spotted something. You might have spotted that there's a pattern going on here. Look at the indices in our question, and look at the index on our answer, and you might be able to spot how we got to our answer. But uh, let's just do another couple of examples just to make this clear. So let's say we've got 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 3. And again, always write it out as a fraction. So this is 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 3. And we can write this out in full. So 3 to the power 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we're going to divide that by 3 cubed, which is 3 times 3 times 3 and now we can cancel. 3's cancel with each other, 3 divided by 3 is 1, these 3's can cancel with each other and these 3's can cancel with each other. So all we are left with is 3 times 3 which is 3 squared. And in maths there are nice little shortcuts we can do to get our answer and you may have already spotted that if we subtract these indices, so if we do 5 minus 3, that gives us 2, which is the index in our answer. Likewise, 6 minus 2 gives us 4. So if we were to do another example, let's say we've got 4 to the power 20 divided by 4 to the power 9, it would be a bit long-winded to write out this fraction with all of these 4s in. So all we can say is that this is the same as 4, to the power 20 minus 9, 4 to the power 20 minus 9, which is 4 to the power 11. And like I said in the previous video with the addition law, it doesn't need to be numbers. As long as the bases are the same, we can perform this nice little trick and subtract our indices. So we could have anything. We could have a fish to the power 7 divided by a fish to the power 4. And because we've got the same base, we can just subtract our indices. So this is going to be a fish to the power 3. And that would be our answer. So we can just come up with a general rule that states that whenever we divide things with the same base, we just subtract our indices. OK, so it's over to you now. Pause the video and see if you can simplify these six expressions by writing them as single powers of 3. OK, the first one, 3 to the power 6 divided by 3 to the power 4. So remember, when we've got the same base, we just subtract our indices. So it's going to be 3 to the power 6 minus 4, which is 3 to the power 2. OK, question 2, we've got the same base again, so we're going to subtract our indices. Well, what is the index here? Well, this is just 1, 3. I could write 3 to the power 1 just to help you. So we're going to do 3 to the power 10 minus 1, which is 3 to the power 9. Okay, question three, we've got the same base, so we're gonna subtract our indices. So it's gonna be three to the power four minus three. And four minus three is one, so it is three to the power one. You can leave it like this, but three to the power one is just three. So it's better off leaving it like this. This is fully simplified. Question four, let's do the same thing. So we're gonna subtract our indices. So seven minus nine, seven minus nine. And 7 minus 9 is negative 2, so it's 3 to the power negative 2. And just be really careful with this one. 
a lot of people might have put just two we always do this index minus this index it's always in this order okay the next one we've got the same base so let's subtract our indices that's three to the power of negative two minus two well what is negative two minus two well that is negative four so it's three to the power negative four and the final one we've got the same base so let's subtract our indices so we've got three to the power four minus negative three so we're going to subtract negative three so what is four subtract negative three well if we are subtracting a negative that is the same as adding so four minus negative three is exactly the same as four plus three so be really careful with this one and four plus three is seven so it's three to the power seven so how did you get on with those six questions this last one is definitely the one where most people slip up with um, which is why i tried to write it out in full just to show you how i got the answer of three to the power seven so hopefully you found that useful and in the next video we're going to carry this on a bit further and we're going to continue our journey with laws of indices i'll see you then